The Whitney Stakes is tomorrow at Saratoga Racecourse. We have a live look at the track right now. Things all quiet on this Friday evening, but they are gearing up for a very big day tomorrow. Naira working to make it bigger than ever with a one and a half million dollar purse this year. Well, trainer Dale Romans won the race 10 years ago. He's looking to make it number two tomorrow. It's a life changing type of race, especially to win it twice. This is 10 year anniversary of the first Whitney that I was lucky enough to win. And the horse that he's hoping to win with, six-year-old Prayer for Relief. Our Tori Wells followed the team to learn more about a day in the life of a racehorse. The tradition, history, and prestige of Saratoga are built on the horse. The, the only reason we're here. And that's Prayer for Relief. The actual minute and 15 seconds the horse is racing, that's too quick. You need to get to know the sport as a whole, get to know the horse, get to know the animals. This is Prayer for Relief a six-year-old from Kentucky who's getting ready to run in the Whitney Stakes this weekend. Just dog one. Trainer Dale Roman says prayer for relief works just about every day, but only for a matter of minutes. Take it easy with him today, just a light day. His workouts, like many other horses, range from jogging to speed work. I just want the rider to come back and tell me that everything's good. You can see in his eyes this horse is driven. At this point in his career, his age, he's, he's a big, strong horse. He's all business, all business, all the time. We're not trying to teach him anything, we're just keeping him happy. That means walks, massages, and lots of hay. Roman says that health is also a big piece. These horses are constantly monitored. Any change in behavior could be a red flag. Health always comes first, but they run hand in hand. If they're not healthy, they won't be happy. When we met Prayer for Relief, he had his own security. Romans told me Naira does that for competitors in big races like the Whitney. And winning this race could be a game changer for this horse. Winners are used to breed. It would change this horse's life more than mine because he, then it would open up a whole new career for him after racing. A second chapter. That's what Roman says the industry is increasingly focused on for all racehorses. Another job once this one is through. They're only going to race you know, four or five years. They could live to be 30 years old. So we need to find them good homes. And he thinks that mission will become easier. The more people learn about these athletes, the more they become their fans. In Saratoga, Tori Wells, CBS 6 News. And I know the fans will be cheering on at Prayer for Relief tomorrow. Back live at the track right now, Romans told us, uh, told Tori, there are quite a few off-the-track thoroughbred programs that help the horses to find new homes and that there are also opportunities to adopt or donate.